In this video, we'll cover all you need to know before traveling to Las Vegas, including maps, transportation, where to stay, best apps, best city views, Vegas specifics, and much more. Here are our 12 essential tips. Number 12. The map of Las Vegas. Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, lies in the greater Mojave Desert. Let's start with the Strip, stretching approximately 4.2 miles or 6.8 kilometers, filled with famous resort hotels and casinos. Downtown Las Vegas, which is located in the northern part of the city, includes the Neon Museum with iconic neon signs, the Mop Museum, downtown container park, filled from shopping containers and featuring shopping centers and galleries, and Fremont Street Experience, an incredible entertainment and gaming destination with Slotzilla Zipline. If you continue south, you will find Art District, a place for the city's thriving culture, housing, in the art galleries and warehouses for performances. Adventure Dome theme park with fun rides and arcades. Area 15, an area dedicated to retail and entertainment events, such as immersive art installations, is located in the northern part of Las Vegas. If you continue south, you will find the Link Promenade with great dining and entertainment options, Flylink Zipline Las Vegas and High Roller, the world's tallest ferris wheel. Across the street, there is the Voodoo Zipline. Continue down the strip and you will find the park, an engaging experience for dining and entertainment, and the T-Mobile Arena. If you're in the mood for a coffee and a tasty dessert, don't miss the Hard Rock Cafe right next to the Coca-Cola store, where you can taste different flavors of Coca-Cola from all over the world. Hershey's Chocolate World houses a number of sweets, chocolates and gifts and is located right across the street. The famous Las Vegas sign is located in the southern part of the city. Also, don't miss the Ethel M Botanical Cactus Garden and Ethel M Chocolate Factory right next to it. Korea and Chinatown are located off the strip and offer great restaurants. Vegas is known for its glamorous hotels and casinos. Check out our travel guide for more information and the maps to easily locate them. Here are just some of the most interesting ones. Stratosphere Casino, Hotel and Tower with Observation Deck. Encore and Wynn, Treasure Island, Palazzo and the Venetian, which uses a real Venice as a basis for its design, the Mirage with erupting volcanoes and an indoor rainforest, Flamingo, home of the tropical oasis with flamingos, Caesar's Palace with Gordon Ramsay's Hell Kitchen, the Bellagio Hotel and its famous fountains with light and music shows, Cosmopolitan with Block 16 Urban Food Hall, Vedara Hotel and Spa and across the street Aria Resort and Casino, Park MGM with Italy, a food hall serving Italian food and groceries, MGM Grand, a huge casino resort with trendy clubs, New York, New York with famous replica Statue of Liberty, Luxor with famous pyramids and Mandalay Bay with Shark Reef Aquarium and Polar Journey. And finally, there are other interesting attractions worth visiting just outside Vegas. The world-famous Hoover Dam, bordering Nevada and Arizona, and the Radar Canyon National Conservation Area, as well as many other places to discover. Las Vegas is spread out. To get a better sense of the distance, a 7-mile or approximately 12-kilometer walk from downtown Las Vegas to New York, New York Hotel takes about 2 hours or about 15 minutes by car or taxi or Uber, depending on the traffic. A 1.5-mile or 2.5-kilometer walk from the Venetian Hotel to New York, New York Hotel takes about 30 minutes or a little over 10 minutes if you take an Uber. The main airport is McCarran International Airport located just 3 miles or 5 kilometers from the Mirage Hotel or about 8 miles or 13 kilometers from downtown Las Vegas. Number 11. Weather and climate. Las Vegas has a desert climate with mild and cold winters and very hot summers. Temperatures in the winter are mild during the day, while the nights are cold, with minimum temperatures often around freezing, and range between 41 and 62 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 to 17 degrees Celsius. There's a lot of sunshine during the day, with cold nights and snow is very rare. The coldest month is January, with 39 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius. In the spring, the weather can often change from relatively mild to cold. The temperatures range between 44 and 88 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 and 30 degrees Celsius. 
summer is very hot with a dry wind, although short thunderstorms can occur. Temperatures range between 69 and 106 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 and 41 degrees Celsius. The hottest month is July with an average of 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius, but the temperatures can go way beyond that, especially in July and August. Weather in the fall is still sunny and warm in September and October, but it then quickly becomes colder in November. Temperatures range between 43 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 6 and 30 5 degrees Celsius. Of course, these are all just averages. The weather and temperatures can be different when you visit, so remember to always check the weather forecast before you travel. Number 10. Best time to visit. The best time to visit Las Vegas is from March to May in the spring and September to November in the fall when the weather is warm and you can avoid the summer heat. Vegas gets a lot of tourists all year round. The cheapest time to visit Las Vegas is in the summer and before and after holidays when there are fewer tourists and the prices of accommodation are lower. However, be prepared for some hot weather, often for a long period of time during the summer. And how can you figure out the best days and hours to see the attractions? Just check Google to see how crowded a specific location is at a particular time of day. Of course, we recommend going early during the week and or in the morning. If you can, don't go to Vegas when it's the holiday season or when there is a big convention in town. For example, the largest convention is the Consumer Electronics Show with 180,000 visitors. Check the convention calendar online to make sure you are not there on those dates. The room prices will be much higher, sometimes even three times the normal price. Many travelers stay in Las Vegas for three days. It depends on what you want to do since there are many places to explore and if you want a more relaxed experience, you can stay an extra day or two. Number 9. Where to stay and prices of accommodation. If this is your first time in Vegas, choose to stay on the Strip, where you'll have many of the best sites, casinos, bars and restaurants just minutes away. You'll be able to save some money since the sites are in walking distance from each other and there are many free activities to do on the Strip. Staying on the Strip also means you're close to the nightlife, where everything happens. If you're on a budget, you can stay at the budget hotel near the end of the strip or in downtown Las Vegas. If you're traveling with a family, you can stay at the west end of the strip where it's quieter. You can also find kid-friendly hotels such as the Mirage, Circus Circus and Excalibur. A mid-range hotel double room in Las Vegas costs from $100 to $150 on average. For budget hotels, the costs range from $50 to $100 and hostels cost from $50 to $70. Staying in Vegas usually includes resort fees, which aren't included in the room rate. The resort fees can range from $10 to $40 per night, so be sure to always check what the resort fee is on the top of the room rate. Again, the prices we covered here are just the average prices and the ranges for different hotel categories are quite extensive. However, with a little research online, you can get better deals, especially if your dates are flexible and you don't travel in high season. Check out our video on the best steps for booking your stay. Number 8. Transportation From and to the airport To get to and from McCarran International Airport you can use Bus From Terminal 1 you can take the route 108, 109 or Westcliff Airport Express route and from Terminal 3 you can take the Westcliff Airport Express or the Centennial Express route Shuttles The airport shuttle The following companies have shuttle services from the airport to hotels and resorts Taxi or limousine Uber or Lyft or car rental. Arriving by car. You can use Google Maps to get driving directions to Las Vegas. There are many parking garages available in the city and most of them charge parking fees. There are still some free spots and some hotels and resorts allow validation. Parking is usually free for the first hour and then gets quickly very expensive, about $9 on average for 1-2 to two hours. By the way, there's currently no train that goes directly to Las Vegas. Getting around the city. While sites on the strip are all located next to each other, the strip itself is very long and while exploring the strip is great on foot, here's what you can do to get from A to B more easily. 
know your shortcuts between the hotels. There are internal corridors between different casinos such as Excalibur, Luxor and Mandalay Bay. Use Las Vegas Monorail. A ticket for one ride costs $5 and passes from one day to one week range from $13 to $56. There are also free trams operating in the west side of the strip. From Mandalay Bay to Luxor to Excalibur, from Bellagio to Crystal Mall to Monte Carlo, and from Mirage to Treasure Island. You can also use a bus. Dius passes along the Las Vegas Boulevard, Downtown Express passes from the Strip to Downtown Las Vegas, and of course you can also use Ubers, Lyfts or Taxis. By the way, if you can't hail a cab, you can go in front of the hotels. It's important to know that there are some taxi scams, but more on that later. Limousine. You can easily rent a limo in Vegas, and it will cost you almost the same as a taxi. Of course, you can use a rental car and other transportation such as bikes. If you use public transportation such as bus, you will pay $6 for 2 hours, $8 for a 24-hour pass, and $20 for a 3-day pass. The rush hours in the city are usually between 7 to 9 am and 4 to 7 pm. Check our travel guide for more useful information on transportation and prices. Number 7. Seven, Vegas specifics Resort fees As we already mentioned, most hotels charge resort fees upon checkout, so don't forget to calculate the fees. There might be some hotels that don't charge the fees. There are tons of clubs, pool parties, concerts and other interesting experiences in Vegas. Check out our travel guide for more information. By the way, our travel guide is a mobile-friendly PDF document covering all the things in this video, plus the top 20 things to do in Vegas, including multiple maps. If you're driving to Vegas, avoid the trip from LA to Vegas on Friday or Vegas to LA on Sunday afternoon, since it will take you 7 hours instead of 4. Gambling downtown. The casinos are cheaper and the odds of winning are better downtown as opposed to the strip. Also, try to avoid gambling at the airport as the payouts are one of the worst. And speaking of gambling, some casinos offer free gaming lessons on blackjack, roulette, poker, etc. Get a player's club card and get benefits such as discounts, free shows and membership-only events. Vegas is the city that never sleeps. Most establishments are open 24-7, even for holidays. You can drink alcohol in the streets as long as it's in a plastic cup. No glass is allowed on the street, even if it's a non-alcoholic beverage. Avoid casino ATMs. They charge a higher fee along with the bank charges. Instead, just bring the cash with you. Smoking. Smoking and e-cigarettes are now banned in Nevada and only select areas allowed smoking. Timeshare sales pitches. Avoid this since they take too much time. Loyalty programs like Caesars reward you for playing games or staying in their hotels. Taxis are expensive. Drivers often use tricks like long hauling or taking the longer route to get more money out of you. For a buffet, you will usually have to wait in line, so it's best to go on a buffet during lunchtime or the weekdays. There are some scams in Vegas, like ripoff free tickets to see the shows and others. Check our travel guide for for more information on Vegas scams. Number 6. General information. Here are some other things you should know for a pleasant and smooth experience in Las Vegas. Drinking water. It is perfectly safe to drink tap water in Vegas. While some drinking water fountains are available in hotels, if you can't find one, just buy a bottled water in the store. Toilets. There are many public toilets in Vegas located in hotels and casinos. If you want to see where public restrooms are located, you can use an app on your phone. More on that later. Free Wi-Fi. You can get free Wi-Fi at plenty of outdoor and indoor hotspots all over the city, including restaurants, hotels and casinos. Some casinos, like those that are part of the MGM resorts, allow free internet access in public areas. Crowds and lines. Las Vegas is a popular tourist destination, so be prepared to wait in line, especially during the weekends, holidays, major events, etc. The same goes for restaurants and other public places. Even if you can't avoid all the crowds, 
you can do some things to make your trip to Vegas more pleasant. You can, for example, avoid peak seasons, avoid traveling during rush hours, make reservations or book in advance to skip the line, use Google Maps or a similar app to check how crowded a specific location is at a particular time of day. Safety. Las Vegas is generally a very safe place for tourists. A few areas are better avoided by night and it's better to stay on the strip since there's more security and it's well lit. Typical for all major cities around the world, beware of pickpockets, especially around significant attractions and areas with crowds. Watch your valuables and use common sense. For emergency services, dial 911. Number 5. For international travelers. Travel adapters. If you're coming from outside the US, you will probably need a special US travel adapter to charge your phone and other devices. We recommend purchasing a travel adapter before traveling to Vegas. In fact, it's worth buying a universal travel adapter so you can use it in other countries too. Currency. Las Vegas uses US dollars. At the time of making of this video, one dollar equals approximately 92 euro cents or 77 pence. Don't forget to check the exchange rate before traveling. It is better to exchange your money before traveling. Most hotels, stores and restaurants in the city accept major credit cards like MasterCard. But it is always wise to have some cash with you, especially if you plan to gamble. ATMs and money exchange. In Vegas, ATMs typically charge a fee of three to eight dollars. There may also be a limit on how much you can withdraw in a day. There are a lot of ATMs along the strip and it's better to avoid the ATMs inside the casinos. Also, try to withdraw as few times as possible to avoid multiple ATM fees. You can choose to exchange your foreign cash at a currency exchange office, but commissions vary widely. So always compare the exchange rate on your phone to the board displayed in the exchange office. Exchanging money at the airport can cost you more than 25% in fees. You can also exchange at casinos or any bank in the city. Some banks are open 24-7 prepaid SIM cards and pocket Wi-Fi. You can purchase a prepaid SIM card to access the internet on your phone. Some options provided by local carriers are T-Mobile, Verizon, World Sim, and AT&T. You can buy one that includes the internet before you get to the city and have it delivered to you. Alternatively, you can consider renting a pocket Wi-Fi or a mobile hotspot. See our travel guide for more information and links. Number 4. Best apps to use in Vegas. Here is a list of useful apps. Vegas.com, an insider guide to what to do and where to go when you're in the city. Vegas Mate, where you can plan your trip with all the information you need on hotels, restaurants and attractions. SmarterVegas.com, to get the best deals and offers in Vegas. InMaps indoor navigation app, which helps you find casinos and malls with inner maps and other information. Groupon for promo codes and saving alerts for nearby dining and other deals. TripAdvisor and Yelp for reviews of restaurants, hotels, museums, tours, etc. Uber or Lyft for getting around the city. Google Maps or Apple Maps for walking, public transportation, driving, etc. Google Maps also lets you download maps, which is a great option if you don't want to use roaming. Number 3. Food prices and tipping. Las Vegas has plenty of dining options and offers a great variety of international and traditional dining options. We suggest using Yelp or TripAdvisor to find a nearby place with good reviews. Las Vegas also offers numerous amazing buffets. An inexpensive restaurant meal ranges from $25 to $50 and a three-course meal at a mid-range restaurant is about $50 to $100. The very popular buffets cost about $30 to $60 depending on the day. Cheaper buffets can go as low as $10 and the price is usually lower during the brunch or lunch time. You can get a slice of pizza from $5 to $10. As for drinks in bars, a coffee costs around $5, a bottle of water around $3, a bottle of soda about $2 to $3, a pint of beer is about $4 to $8, a glass of wine costs up to $10, and cocktails go for about $15 to $20 in clubs. A popular yard drink at Fat Tuesday costs $18, and if you get a refill, you can pay a couple of dollars less. If you want to save some money, you can get discounted drinks during happy hours. Bottled water can be expensive in casinos, but you can always buy it at supermarkets at a much more reasonable price. 
Of course, prices are higher in more famous restaurants and hotels. There are plenty of great cheap eats in Vegas, especially in downtown and Chinatown. Check out our travel guide for maps with the best cheap eats. Number 2. City passes and exploring the city. If you want to save on attractions, you can choose to buy a Las Vegas pass, a Go Las Vegas cart, or a Las Vegas sightseeing pass. All the options offer free entry to some top attractions and shows and various kinds of discounts and more. You can also opt to include guided tours with your city passes. Check our travel guide for current prices and links. There are also many different tours organized in Vegas. See our travel guide for links. Number 1. Best views of Las Vegas Vegas has one of the most unique skylines in the world. You can enjoy amazing views of this fascinating city from one of the following places. The High Roller Ferris Wheel, the Foundation Room in Mandalay Bay, the Voodoo Rooftop Nightclub at Rio Las Vegas, Wraparound Terrace Suite at the Cosmopolitan, from the Stratosphere Observation Deck, from Eiffel Tower at Paris Las Vegas, and much more. Don't miss our video on top 10 things to do in Vegas. Just click here.